When your character steps into the world of Gilenor, you're faced with 21 years of content to explore and engage in. From the mightiest boss to old vampires, RuneScape's content is a visual reminder of how far we've come. Every piece of content you see has been through the process of development, hyped up, released, and then, for some of it, left alone in the dark. We've truly come far. Looking back from what the game is today to what it was like in early January 2001 is almost abstract. The changes have been massive since the doors opened for the first time. The idea of banks didn't come into play before in May 2001. In the start, everyone ran around with all of their items in their inventories. This made the world extremely dangerous. Not only was it risky to kill monsters in fear of losing everything, but also other players posed a great danger. PvP was enabled anywhere from the second you stepped outside the Lombridge borders, and anyone within 5 combat levels of you could have a go at you. But for a new level 3 straight out of Lombridge, a level 8 with iron armor is quite powerful. You just had to hope one of them wouldn't find you before you managed to sneak into the woods. Not everyone was so lucky. Some players, like Robin Hood too, rose to fame in the early days for killing pretty much everyone. Only days after RuneScape opened, he held the record of most kills in a day, being 78 assassinations. But not to worry, some players were kind PKers, tracking down players who attempted to kill low-level players to make sure those new adventurers had a fighting chance. The new adventurers who did get away could explore the vast world, stretching all the way from the misty Lombridge Swamp to Edgeville. <laughs> yeah, hiding from PKers wasn't very easy back then. Skills like magic and prayer were split in two. Good magic and evil magic, as well as pray good and pray evil. Herb lore was called herb law, although no one could train the skill. Tailoring was also on the skill list, also untrainable, likely as a predecessor to crafting, although this one was removed shortly after the game was released. The first ever player to sign up to RuneScape, Rab, served as a volunteer moderator of sorts, an early predecessor of today's player moderator. But Rab could also teleport players around, much alike to what Jmod accounts could, leaving rulebreakers to rot in the black void. Rab was a beta tester for RuneScape prior to its release, meaning he had direct contact with Andrew Gower and had several chats with Andrew as the game was being developed. What's interesting is that Andrew did on occasion send Rab files related to the game, something that in later years has been shared with players attempting to conserve the history of the game either on the wiki, in books, or through video. One such file is dated from December 2000, showing what's likely some early design of what was meant to be the RuneScape skills. Sewing was a skill looking quite identical to what crafting is today, using needle and thread on leather to create various clothing and tools. Herblore, or Herbla as it was called, was meant to work directly with the herbs rather than potions. You could use herbs in similar ways you can use potions today, but some additional uses are explained in the old design, such as enhancing food, poisoning food, and purifying water. Smithing was pretty much the same, but you were meant to smith gold bars into gold coins. Woodcutting was the same as it's always been, but fletching was integrated into the skill, allowing you to use woodcutting to cut logs into wooden tools and weapons. Creating arrows and other tools using metals together with wooden products was put into a whole different skill called crafting. Clearly, this version of crafting was combined with the tool cutting from woodcutting to become fletching, and the name crafting replaced sewing prior to the game's release. Yeah. RuneScape was a different game back then. 21 years of change has made RuneScape nearly unrecognizable to what it was in 2001, in many ways for the better. But it does make you wonder, where will the game be in another 20 years?